Hello everyone, welcome to this new video where we are going to solve this equation 9 power x plus 6 power x equal to 2 times 4 power x, okay? So, what we are going to do, we are going to rewrite this equation in a good way, in such a way that we can easily find our solution x. So, let's just rewrite this equation as, we are going to divide all this equation by this term here. Okay, by 4 raised to the power x. So, our equation will just be 9 power x divided by 4 power x plus 6 power x divided by 4 power x equal to 2. Okay, this is my equation. I can still rewrite my equation as I know that 9 is equal to 3 square, so I can still write my equation as 3 square power x divided by 4, which is 2 square power x by 2 square power x, okay, plus this is again 6 divided by 4. Everything raised to the power x equal to 2. Okay. If I rewrite this, I will just have the following. I will have 3 divided by 2 square. Everything raised to the power x. Okay. Plus 6 divided by 4 is just 3 divided by 2 by simplification the power x equal to 2 okay i have this and now i know that this here is again 3 divided by 2 to the power 2 x okay plus 3 divided by 2 to the power x equal to 2. Okay, I have this, which I can still rewrite as, because I want to have a quadratic equation, so I can still write this as 3 divided by 2 to the power x square, okay, square plus 3 divided by 2 to the power x equal to 2. Okay, now if I send these two in this side, I will just have, and I consider my t be equal to 3 divided by 2 to the power x. Then my quadratic equation will just be written as t square plus t equal to 2 or minus 2 equal to 0, okay? I just replace this value here by t and this one inside by t, okay? Now the goal is to solve this equation. You can either solve it using delta or just solve it directly as follow. So this is again t square. This is minus t plus 2t minus 2 equal to 0, okay? And if I pull t outside from here, I will just have t uh, minus 1 plus 2 times t minus 1 equal to 0, okay? This is the easy and quick way to solve it. So I have t minus 1 and t minus 1, so I can pull outside t minus 1, t plus 2, equal to 0. So if this is equal to 0, this means that I have t minus 1, equal to 0, or t plus 2, equal to 0. This is again, t is equal to 1, or t is equal to minus 2. And now what is my t? Just remember that our t was 3 
divided by 2 raised to the power x, okay? So, this means that I have 3 divided by 2 raised to the power x equal to 1, okay? I'm not going to consider this equation just because my t given this way cannot be negative. So I cannot consider the equation t equal to minus 2 because this quantity here can never be negative. So the only t I consider is this one. Okay, so this is my only equation I'm going to solve. So what does this imply? This just implies that I have x. If I uh, put ln on both sides of my equation, I will just have that x ln of 3 divided by 2 is equal to ln of 1. I know that ln of 1 is equal to 0, so I have x ln of 3 divided by 2 is equal to 0. I know that this quantity here is not 0. So if this product is equal to 0, if all this is equal to 0, this means only my x can be equal to zero, okay? So this just implies that we have our solution, which is x equal to zero. And if we replace into our equation, we have nine raised to the power x, zero, plus six raised to the power zero, which is equal to two times four raised to the power zero. If we compute this, we have this one, which is 1 plus 1 is equal to 2 times 1. So we have 2 equal to 2. So x equal to 0 is the good solution of our equation. So thank you for watching the video. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Please subscribe to the channel. Thank you.